Hey guys, welcome back to the Jays Put Down Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden, and today we're going to be talking about Cam Newton on the podcast today. Cam Newton, uh, former 2015 NFL MVP Super Cam, as he used to be called back in his glory days before injuries derailed him. You know, probably one of the NFL's biggest what if, or not what if, but what happened to him uh, type of situations. Uh, personally, always, I was, was a fan of Cam Newton. Um, particularly, you know, his early days, even going back to Auburn, when he was a quarterback there, he was really good. They were a good team that won, won a national championship. And then, he, you know, he got drafted first overall by the Panthers in 2011, and he had a good career for the most part in the NFL, except, you know, injuries kind of hurt him and, uh, you know, a questionable Super Bowl move. We'll talk about that a little later on the show, but. But thank you guys for coming on and joining us today. So, um, yeah, and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Check us out on uh, YouTube and Spotify, all those things. You can check us out here on every channel. Uh, but, yes, going back to Cam Newton. Uh, Cam Newton's one of those interesting cases. Like I said, he was drafted in 2011 by the by the Panthers, first overall. He was really good at Auburn. Uh, he actually went to Westlake here in Atlanta. So, you know, he's a homegrown kid. Uh, College Park is where he's from. Uh, he, you know, was good there. And then, like I said, he went to Auburn and Florida, played uh, those two schools, was a great player there, good enough to earn him a first overall selection by Carolina in 2011 in a good draft class. And when he got drafted, I'm like, okay, his abilities make him a very unique prospect, a very unique player, because this is a quarterback that can throw and he can run. You know, at the time, he was his his leg. Everybody knows Cam Newton for his legs, his strength, his size. He's 6'5", 240 quarterback. Like, you don't you, you don't find that very often at a quarterback position. A guy who's that big, that strong, with that size, that weight. And he's very, as you would imagine, he's very hard to bring down, which is what was one of Cam's biggest strong suits. That's why he was, you know, so hard to stop because when he ran – you couldn't tackle him and take three or four guys to bring him down because he's 6'5", 240 pounds playing quarterback. That's a that's like a tight end almost in a, in a way, maybe in college, you know, more than the NFL. But like that's a tight end size almost, you know, or a really big fullback, you know, but that's your quarterback you're talking about. That's that big. And so imagine having to bring that down. He also has the ability to throw a football efficiently. He can pass uh, really well. That was, you know, a lot of people – don't understand Cam was actually was a very polished passer. Um, his first few years in the NFL, uh, you know, even in college, he was a, he was a good passer. Uh, you know, so that's you know, I, I always think he was really good with that. Uh, but the only thing that hurt him, man, was just the injuries. You know, uh, that kind of hurt him early on, a little, a little bit later in his career with the Panthers, like around 2016, 2017, after the Super Bowl season, after his MVP season, when they when they went 15 and one, he was a starter. Um, you know, I mean, I actually remember the, the game against the Falcons where Cam had like he broke all these tackles and stuff, and he was he just bulled all his way into the end zone. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this dude is yeah, this team is definitely going to the Super Bowl. Nobody's stopping them because they're just on a roll. You know, when the team is good, like and they they're just on that roll, and you know they can't be stopped by anybody. They just have their they're just confident in what they're doing, and they have great players making plays on both sides of the ball. Like they had the Panthers are really good that year. Ted Ginn Jr. out wide, Greg Olson playing really good tight end. Shout out to Greg Olson, one of the uh, better tight ends we've seen. And now he's a big, he's big in the sports broadcasting business at Fox. Um, you know, so I've always been a fan of Greg Olson as a player and as a broadcaster. So shout out to him. Um, but you had Greg Olson, Ted Ginn Jr., Jonathan Stewart in the backfield, Luke Keekley on the defensive side, uh, Julius Peppers, uh, you know, Thomas Davis Sr. I mean, that the Panthers were loaded for quite some time, you know, and, and that Cam at the helm, you know, they were a really good team. Like, you're thinking this team should really be making at least a couple playoff appearances and a Super Bowl appearance, which they did. They should have won that Super Bowl. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but, you know, my thing with Cam is like, you know, I I hate that he he fell off the way he did because he, he was such an electric player. Um, I love playing with him on Madden. <laughs> Uh, Cause he, he just, you couldn't beat him. He, he, you know, you couldn't stop. He was, he's too big to bring down. He could throw the football. Um, you know, he could run. I mean, that's what you want a quarterback. He paved the way for a lot of quarterbacks. We have now like Josh Allen um, and 
Anthony Richardson, like those are guys that you compare to Cam Newton when he was coming out in the draft. And like you now you see these guys, uh, Josh Allen has emerged to be one of the league's best quarterbacks. It took him a while, but he's now he's one of the top QBs in the league. Um, and Anthony Richardson has potential, but I don't know, you know, we'll see what happens with him, but he has the potential to be a good quarterback. Uh, I think he can be, he's got some of those similar traits to Cam, but the more important thing is what happened to Cam Newton? What happened to this guy? What, what, what happened to him? Why did he fall off? Why is he no longer super Cam? Like what happened to that? You know, um, all the dances and the dabbing and the, you know, all that stuff. Like what happened to Cam Newton? Uh, well, Injuries, you know, uh, people don't understand, like, injuries really can derail a person's career, you know, and, and that's just, I mean, that's with anybody in life, you know, nobody likes to get hurt. I mean, getting hurt is can really mess you up. But if you play professional sports, basketball, football, soccer, uh, golf, or whatever the sport may be, baseball, like, you know, if you get hurt a lot, it can really dampen your career and it can hurt it, you know, and it could, um, it can, it can really mess it up, you know, and to the point where you, aren't in a position to make a lot of money where you're not in a position to be successful as a player because you've got so many injuries. No teams want you because you get hurt a lot, you know, and that's a, that's a turnoff for GMs and coaches, you know, and for Cam's situation, he was so beloved in Carolina that they stuck with him until they couldn't anymore. Um, but because he got hurt so much, his shoulder really messed him up. He wasn't able to throw the football efficiently like he always was. I mean, 2018, 2019, those years, the Panthers really couldn't do anything because Cam was hurt and Cam was their team uh, at, at during that time. The defense wasn't all that good. They were okay, but they weren't all that good. Offense wasn't all that good, uh, you know, I mean, because Cam was not playing, you know, uh, and so now he's now he's a free agent. I guess he still wants to play. I don't know. Uh, but last, you know, last we remember, he was with the Panthers in 2021. They signed him. It's like a one-year deal to come back. He played against the Cardinals, <laughs> had a rushing touchdown, a passing touchdown. Everybody knows that video. You probably look up on YouTube He's where he's screaming, I'm back. And I'm like, you know, okay, Cam. Um, and we never really heard from him again pretty much after that. So, uh, but, you know, Cam Newton is one of the more interesting cases in the league. I know I did a video about Antonio Brown the other day, um, but this is different. Antonio Brown was a guy who just, he fell off completely because of the decisions that he made and, you know, his mind just not being in the right place. Cam more so just injuries hurt him. And it's one of the biggest what ifs in NFL history. I guess it is a what if now that you think about it. If Cam Newton had stayed healthy, what could he have done? Could he have won a Super Bowl eventually at some point? Could he have been another, could he have won another MVP award? Could he have been one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL? If Cam Newton would have stayed healthy, if he never got hurt as much as he did, with his abilities to run and throw the football, could he have been a top QB in the league? I think he could have been. Uh, I've never, I, I'm not, you know, most recently I've never been a big Cam Newton fan um, just because of the fact that he just isn't a competent quarterback anymore. Um, and that's not a knock on him, but just so much he just isn't due to the league standards today and the fact that he cannot throw the football at an efficient level. Um He's no, there's really no fit for him really on a team right now in the league because of where we're trending offensively. You have to be able to throw the football to be successful in this NFL. You have to be able to pass the ball at an efficient level, at a high level, at a deep level. You got to air it out. That's just how this, this how football is right now. Um, and Cam doesn't fit into any of those aspects because he his arm is shot because he's gotten hurt so much. But, I mean, this dude was a, you know, most rushing touchdowns by a QB in NFL history was 75. Uh, that's crazy. I think he was the first, fastest player to throw for a thousand yards as well. Um, you know, so Cam Newton has his accolades. He's definitely been um, an, an impressive player in the league. You know, one of the bigger faces of the NFL we've had in the last 10 years, for sure. Um, you know, I mean, at one point, you know, he was pretty much face of like, the, all the dabbing and the dances and stuff. That's what everybody knows him for. Pretty much, you know, like he was very famous. Like every, like a lot of kids had Cam Newton jerseys on 2015, 2016. Like that's middle school days. I remember a lot of people had Cam Newton jerseys on. That's the days when he was MVP and he was, you know, super Cam. And, you know, this guy was like going to be like the next big thing. Like, you know, everybody's like Cam Newton's going to be, at that time, conversations were being had that Cam Newton had the, uh, he had the potential to be 
one of the best people to ever, one of the best players to ever play football. I didn't think I, you know, I'm not sitting here comparing him to Brady or Rogers or, you know, whoever, but he had potential. He had potential. Uh, you know what I mean? He won an MVP. Uh, the Panthers went 15 1, a Super Bowl appearance. The only thing I'll say about that, though, uh, is, is that really, I think, this, I think the Super Bowl play really messed Cam up, though, secretly for the rest of his career like that. What he did, or what he didn't do, I, to me, that's really what kind of set him off. Like, you know, so what happened was it, they took the snap. Cam Newton took the snap. It was a fumble. And, uh, you know, Denver was in a prime position. Like, they need to, you know, they need to recover this ball to help get their chances to win the, the, Super, the Super Bowl. Um, it was a very important situation in the game. And Cam Newton fumbled the ball on a, on a bad exchange from the center. So I guess you can explain the, you can explain it both ways. But he, he didn't jump on it. He just let the ball roll and let the Denver players get on top of it. And I'm, like, sitting there watching, I'm like, Cam, what are you doing? You know, like, this is the Super Bowl. This is your biggest game of your life, you know, of the national championship, which you did win at the college level, but now you're at the highest level of the highest level, which is the NFL, the National Football League. You're in the Super Bowl, and you have a loose ball on the ground, and you don't jump on it. That's a live ball, you know. And he just he's backing away from it, and I'm like, that 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 to me really showed me like, you know, okay, maybe Cam isn't the guy, you know, maybe he isn't that guy, you know. I don't know. That's because that's something that you really that's the the biggest game of your life. It's on the line. Everything's on the line. Your team needs to get a score to stay in this game, to, to win this game. And you don't jump on the football. Like, you know, so and he just let it roll. And, and then after the game, you know, that really didn't make me happy as well. When he was in his press conference, he talked, you know, he just kind of had a, a, a very sad demeanor on his face. Like, which I understand. I mean, you lost the Super Bowl. I get it. But at the same time, you part of that is your fault uh, because you didn't jump on the football. Um, when it was a live football, you gave Denver a chance, you know, um, anytime you turn the football over, you're asking for a beat, a beating because you can't, you can't expect to win football games and turn the ball over. That is just not how it works. So it's never football has never worked like that. Basketball doesn't even work like that. But when you turn the, when you turn the football over, you will not win football games. Um, that's a, one of the biggest no, no's you can't turn over the football. Um, and when you turn the ball over and that big type of that, that big type of game, the Super Bowl game. And let the other team get another opportunity on offense to take over and score. That's a that's a possession that you just gave up to the other team because you let them get on that loose football. And to me, Cam right there showed that he wasn't really about it. Um, you know, I don't know. I just don't know what was going through his head at the moment. You know, it's still kind of a mystery to this day why he didn't jump on that ball. We'll never really know. But that's just to me. It, Cam Newton really had the potential to be one. He is one of the biggest what ifs in NFL history. What if he? What if he's what if he jumped on that ball? What if he stayed healthy? What if the Panthers continue to just be good? Like what if the Panthers, you know, kept their core players around Cam Newton? And what if Cam Newton never got hurt and he stayed healthy? Could he have been one of the best quarterbacks? Probably. He was already at that point. He was trending towards that point, but then he got he just got injured and then he lost kind of a Love for the, I won't say love for the game, but he lost like some motivation for the game and bounced around a couple of times. Went to the Patriots and played for Bill Belichick. Then we all knew that wasn't going to work out. Um, and then he got released by New England, and then he went to back to Carolina with Matt Rule. Uh, and, and he, you know, just for a little reunion type of, you know, fancy, uh, you know, for just for the surface type of deal from Carolina, just to make Carolina fans happy for about something because their team wasn't doing anything. Uh, that's really all that signing was. And then he now he's still a free agent. And he's not, you know, he's not on any team right now. He's not on any roster. So, you know, will Kim get back on the NFL team? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but let me let, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should Cam Newton make the Hall of Fame? Has he done enough in his career so far? If he were to stop playing football today, would Cam Newton make the Hall of Fame? Let me guys know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you for tuning in to today's video, watching today's video. We're also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you get your favorite podcasts. Just check us out. Search us up. Jay's for Down, the football podcast. We're there. Um, put the link down in the description below. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.